out from the museum today. We have a beautiful 1959 Ford Galaxy retractable. It was known as the hideaway hardtop because actually the entire roof fold down into the trunk. Ford Motor Company was the first manufacturer to mass produce a retractable hardtop convertible. When I say it was mass produced, that means it was produced at least in quantities of a thousand vehicles or more in total. In 1957, this was the top of the line for Ford and it continued on for the top of the line model in 1957, 1958, and of course 1959 that we have right here in front of us. There was a couple main reasons for the design. One was of course safety. They believed that having a steel roof made your car a lot more secure for vandals versus a, a typical canvas top. And two, quiet. In other words, if you had a hard top steel roof versus a fabric top convertible, the vehicle would be significantly quieter at highway speeds, which is actually true. Ford built in 1957 a little over 20,000 of their retractable hardtop convertibles. In 58, a recession year, they built a little over 14,000. And the third and final year, 1959, they built 12,000 units in total. This car has been frame off restored by Jerry Miller from Springdale, Arkansas. He's very well known in the Ford retractable community. Jerry Miller has been restoring 57 to 59 Fords now for the past, oh, 45 plus years. This vehicle, as I would say, is a typical Jerry Miller restoration. If you look at the front grille, you'll see this is an AACA National Senior Show Winner. It is restored in its correct factory color combination of Indian turquoise and white with the beautiful Indian turquoise white interior. In 1959, my folks bought a brand new car, identical color combination as this. We were the perfect Ford family. We had a 1959 Ford retractable hardtop, and we also had a 1959 Ford four-door station wagon. With five kids, you definitely need a station wagon. So the vehicle that we have here is not the actual vehicle we had in Arizona, because growing up in a Ford family, my folks believed in the hand-me-down system. In other words, when you got to be 16 and old enough to drive, my folks would give you one of the old cars that had 60, 80, 100,000, 120,000 miles. So my brother Dexter actually ended up getting this vehicle way back when he turned 16 years old. Well, when Dexter saw the trunk and he saw that little square box in the back that's about two feet by two feet by about 18 inches, Dexter's first thought was, he says, man, he says, that's the perfect size for a mobile beer cooler. You throw your beer in there, a couple 10, 20 pound bags of ice, and you got cold beer on wheels. Now that may explain why in less than 48 hours of receiving this vehicle, he wrapped it around the bridge abutment. We have a 1957, a 1958, and two 1959 Ford retractables. So check us out more at the AmericanMuscleCarMuseum.com as well as checking us out on Facebook and Instagram. Please follow us if you could. Thank you.